mud soup. Rosa smacked her lips. She dipped her spoon into her cup. She slurped her soup. Mmm, mud soup, she said. Delicious so. Josh stared at his sandwich. Clumps of peanut butter hung from the edges. Purple jelly oozed through the bread. That looks lousy, Rosa said. She handed Josh her thermos. Have some mud soup, she said. Josh's stomach jumped. His heart thumped. The soup inside the thermos was thick and dark. He could see something wiggling on the top of the soup. It looked a little like a bean, but it looked a little like a worm too. Josh held the soup far away from him. He tried not to look. He did not want to eat a worm, but he did not want to hurt Rose's feelings either. He handed the thermos back to her. I like peanut butter and jelly better," he said. At noon on Saturday, Josh rode his bicycle in the park. He stopped next to the slide. "I'm hungry," he said. Rosa zipped down the slide. "Me too," she said. "Let's eat lunch at my house. It's closer." Okay, Josh said. Josh and Rosa went to Rosa's house. They walked into Rosa's kitchen. A big pot stood on the table. Steam circled out of it. Rosa smacked her lips. "Mmm, mud soup," she said. "Delicious, so." Josh's stomach jumped. His heart thumped. He could see something floating on the top of the soup. It looked a little like a bean, but it looked a little like a clump of dirt too. Josh did not want to eat dirt, but he did not want to hurt Rose's feelings either. "I'm not hungry after all," he said. He rushed out the door. After school one day, Josh rode his bicycle to Rose's house. Rosa was riding her bike on the sidewalk. Her mama and Abuela were working in the garden. Rosa's mama picked onions and peppers. She laid them in the basket. Rosa's Abuela scooped mud into a pail. A glob of mud slid down the side of the pail. A large ant crawled on top of the pail. Would you like to stay for dinner, Josh? Rosa's abuela asked. We are having soup, she said. See,、si, said Rosa, mud soup. Josh's stomach jumped. His heart thumped. He looked at the glob of mud that ran down the side of the pail. He watched the ant crawl across the top of the pail. He did not want to eat mud. He did not want to eat an ant, but he did not want to hurt anyone's feelings either. No thanks, he said. He rode to the park as fast as he could. On International Day at school, some of the parents brought lunch. Bobby's father brought Chinese wontons. Helen's father brought little Greek cakes dripping with honey. Rose's mama stood beside a large pot. Steam circled out of it. She filled two bowls. She handed one to Josh and one to Rosa. Mmm, mud soup, Rosa said. Delicious, so. Josh's stomach jumped. His heart thumped. The soup was thick and dark. He could see something swimming on the top of the soup. It looked a little like a bean, 
but it looked a little like a beetle too. Josh's face felt hot and sweaty. His eyes grew big. I don't want to eat mud, he said. Rosa smiled. There is no mud in mud soup, she said. My abuela from Mexico makes it with black beans. Josh looked at the soup. Then why do you call it mud soup? he asked. Rosa swallowed a spoonful of soup. Because it looks a little like mud, she said. Josh dipped his spoon into the thick, dark soup. He tasted it. Mmm, he said. Yummy. Mud soup is delicious, though.